In this video, we will show you a system called ball and hoop and introduce you to the concept of numerical optimal control. With numerical optimal control, you can do this. But first things first, often we need to control something automatically. For example, we may want to keep this ball in rest. You may wonder why this system is important. The motion of a ball in a hoop actually resembles the motion of the liquid in a tank or a fuel in a rocket. The motion of the propellant was influential in the failure of SpaceX's Falcon 1 rocket. With feedback control we can measure the velocity, multiply it by a constant and feed it back to determine the velocity of the hoop. Problem solved. But what if we want to do something more challenging than this? What about looping the loop? You cannot do this only with a simple feedback controller. You have to optimize the reference trajectory. For that, you need the mathematical model that allows you to simulate the system on a computer. The numerical optimization then iteratively finds the best trajectory that meets the set goal. Now you can see how this looks in practice. Let's test the outcome with a mathematical model. Seems it works, so let's move to the real system. We will give it one more try. In slow motion, we can now check what happened. The mathematical model is always a bit inaccurate, and in this case, even a tiny bit matters. But we don't need an exact model if we incorporate a feedback once again. Instead of keeping the ball in rest, we will make it follow the pre-calculated trajectory. Great, we have it! This is just a simple example, but in real life you will find many applications in robotics or aerospace for which simple feedback control is not enough, and you need a numerical optimal control. You can read more about this system in our paper or even build your own system because we put all the source files on GitHub. 